That's why I don't like when you give me this job. <laughs> I'm can I, can I Alrighty, good morning, friends. So it is like 6.45. I just woke up. Um, well... I've actually been like up and down since 5.15, but I was so tired I didn't go to bed until like 3 last night. So I've been up and down since 5.15 because I'm just like exhausted and two hours was just not enough sleep. So I finally like got up at 6.15. I like got up at 5.15, walked to the shower, and then walked right back to my bed. I was like, I'm just gonna lay back down. And every 15 minutes after that, I just kept getting up. So I finally got up at 6.15, like actually took a shower. And yeah, I just got out of the shower a little while ago. And now I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup, but I'm getting ready this early because we are going to Kleinfeld today. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this as soon as I'm done getting ready. But we do have to leave at like 8.15, and like I said, it is around 6.45, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so hair and makeup is done. I just went with like some loose waves and um, I just did like my powder foundation today. I don't like wearing the liquid because I feel like it's gonna like smear on the dress and the powder foundation doesn't come off as much. So we just went with like a really light makeup look and now we're about to leave and running a little bit late. So I got to go. friends so we made it to New York it was a bit of a headache um, it's really busy now I was already at Kleinfeld once and the city like still wasn't really that open yet because of COVID um, so it was really nice there was like no one here parking was easy this time was a whole different experience it's really busy right now and the parking was like really really hectic it's just crazy so we are here though I'm walking into Kleinfeld. Well, we're like walking towards Kleinfeld now. We're only like, we are, the parking garage that we parked at is like literally two minutes down the road. So not bad, but we are on our way to Kleinfeld and I'm so excited. We're here. I don't know why you even brought those dirty shoes. Because I, he was pushing me out of the car. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a push? Okay, I can't open it. You want to open it for me? Thank you. Here we go. We have to get our temperatures. Oh. Please take the clothes for taking temperature. Are you going to hold that? Normal temperature. Yay, normal temperature. How are you? Thank you. Um, my name is Michelle Monfordo. Okay, so we're all checked in, and now I just have to do this little, like, survey not like a survey but like a check-in um just to make sure that we are all good with like covid and all that great stuff so i'm going to go ahead and fill this out and i will check back in with you guys when something good happens So pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's wow. beautiful. And so this would have to be altered. Yeah. That's the only thing, really. This is actually like so pretty. It looks beautiful on, Michelle. The cummerbund <laughs> is like the greatest feature in this dress. Yeah, because it's actually a little bit. So, because it really brings the waist in, mm -hmm. gives you this beautiful waistline. And then I'll show you if you decide if you did want to do these. Oh, okay. I actually like the straps. There you go. Do you like the straps, Mom? Mm -hmm. the straps. Yeah. Hmm. And so, very pretty. When you get it altered, cup size, and you're good to go. 
three hundred. Yeah, exactly. That's insane. Like that. I mean, you. Um, it, it, it's almost criminal not to take it. <laughs> Turn around for me, sir. Your recording is it counting? Oh, this I, one has the train too. I guess it's counting, Michelle. I don't know. You see, it yeah, top, you I see. see it. So the first one was really pretty. It was more A-line, less ball gown. Um, and it had like that really pretty opening. I really actually was surprised because I really liked that one a lot more than I even was expecting. This one I do also really like. This one looks very princessy, elegant. This has the big ball gown. Look at the train. Can you show the train at all on camera? It has that big train. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm, I don't know if I love it, like how low this comes down. So this is super pretty like look at that train in the back i'm not crazy about this i like when they more so like cinch the waist as opposed to like a, like coming below the waist but also this is super big but it's very pretty it's definitely that princess like fairy tale moment this is pretty i mean it's a beautiful dress right exactly yeah the dress I mean, is it's pretty. <laughs> very pretty. This is so It feels super lightweight. It is very light. Yeah. I mean, it's very pretty. I'm not in love with it. Um, first of all, I, I, just, think, it's I think it's throwing me off that I like can see through it. I also think the straps. Yeah, are the straps are what I love, and I don't love this like crisscross. The hatching pattern. Yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, it's a very pretty gown. I love like the sparkle and the sequins and stuff because it has like. A lot going on but i almost feel like maybe it's too much going on all right so i don't know what kind of shots my mom got hopefully you guys were even able to see the dresses um that i was trying on my phone works. i don't know how to turn this thing off just leave it you're fine you just flip it the other way like the same way you turned it on you turn it i'm giving like a slight handicap today so you'll have to fine. the other way oh, I don't know. That's why I don't like when you give me this job. <laughs> it's not the can I, can I yeah. go? Okay, and then I want you to turn around to me. Um, they were all like really, really pretty gowns. Like they really were so gorgeous. I'm also, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm in my little Kleinfeld robe throwback. Um, but again, it is a sample sale. So like you're very limited in your options. Like you can't be picky because you really only have a certain amount of dresses you can try on, especially with me being in like bigger sizes. There really isn't that many dresses, like m that many options for me. So we decided to put that big ball gown back on one more time and we did this just because everyone wanted to see what it would look like with some straps. So we tried these off the shoulder sleeves. I'm not a huge fan of sleeveless dresses and when I saw it with the sleeves, it was just so pretty. But honestly, this dress was so pretty either way. We ended up walking away not getting anything. Although, I did get this really cute little bag. Look. It was a free bag, so that's always fun. Just says Kleinfeld on it, and like I said, I didn't get anything this time, but I already have my Kleinfeld dress, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so it was fun. I'm happy I went, um, because I definitely would have regretted not going, because I never would have known. And for how cheap some of the dresses are there, it's like crazy. So we just came to, um, what's it called? Flat, I think it's called Flat Iron by Chloe or something. There you go. This is the little water. Water by Chloe. There you go. This is where we came last time we went to Kleinfeld and uh, Ambria, <laughs> she did not like the food very much, but I think it's amazing. It's all vegan. It's all really, really good. So yeah, I'm super excited to eat. And as soon as I get home from New York, I will give you guys like my final thoughts and rundown on the Kleinfeld sample sale. All right, so this looks super messy, <laughs> but I got the, um, it's like a spicy chicken sandwich and it looks very spicy. Mama Mary didn't take hers out of the bag yet, but somewhere in there, she got a guac burger and sweet potato fries, which is what we got last time. And it was really good. And then she also got this like hibiscus ginger tea or something, I think it is. Um, I just love the whole aesthetic. Like everything looks so cute. We also ordered um, like a kale artichoke dip, which, oh my gosh, I love spinach and artichoke dip and I've never tried a vegan one. So I assume the kale one is like the same concept, but they, I guess, forgot it. I don't know, but it's coming soon and I'm excited because I hope it's good. All right, so here's our little kale artichoke dip. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. I really, really hope that this is good because, oh, 
if it is i'm oh my god i'm so excited also since they forgot to give it to us they didn't charge us like i love these little moments these little magical moments so fun okay i'm about to dig into all of this goodness this looks amazing and i'll check back in in a little all right, hi friends. So we are back from New York City and I just wanted to come on here and give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on the day. So like I've been saying throughout the whole video and as I'm sure you can tell by the title, I was at Kleinfeld today because it was their sample sale day. And so pretty much what that means is that they have a big selection of their dresses and accessories marked down, I believe all the way up to 75% off, which when you think about it is honestly just crazy. So I actually already have my dress and I did get it from Kleinfeld. I got it back at my appointment in February, but I did just decide to go once I got the email that the sample sale was rolling around because I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to just like go check it out and see what they have, see what their options are. I saw someone who got like a $3,000 dress for like $700 or something crazy like that at one of the previous sample sales. And so I was like, you know what? Honestly, it doesn't hurt just to like go and see what they have out. So I was really excited and I was looking forward to just going and like seeing what they had. So as you guys probably saw in some of the clips from like the actual vlog portion of this video, we got to New York. Um, I My appointment was at 11.15. So in the past, I believe that I've seen the sample sale doesn't actually like make appointments. I think people just go and you line up outside and it's just like, you know, they bring in people, certain amount of people at a time, and it's just like a first come, first served sort of process. However, I guess maybe like just for COVID and capacity restrictions, they did schedule appointments for this year's sample sale. So my appointment was at 1115 and it was a one hour appointment. At my other appointment in February, I believe it was a 90 minute appointment. So that was like already the first thing that was different. Um, this was only a 60 minute appointment. So they did make it a bit quicker and a bit shorter and just I, so I guess they could kind of like filter more people in and out of the store. So that was one thing that was a little bit different. So I already expected this to be a bit quicker than my previous appointment. And then when we got there, it was the same process as far as like checking in actually goes. We just had to get our temperatures checked. And then when you go in, the last time I was there, it was like a paper form that we had to fill out. It was just like asking some COVID questions, like if you've been exposed to anyone, all that kind of stuff. This time it wasn't a paper form. It was just like a virtual, like a digital form um you just scanned a qr code and then you filled it out like right from your phone which was fine but it was like pretty much the same concept and then after that you just hung out and then your stylist came out and got you ready for your appointment so that was like all done pretty much the same way as my last appointment like i said except for the way the form was but other than that everything was like pretty much the same and i actually funny enough had the same stylist that i had from my other appointment so it was really good to see her again because she's just like so great and so nice and she was super helpful then and she was just as helpful this time around so I was like really excited to have her and to work with her again it was really really great um, so she came out and we went into the back so this is where it like started getting different from the actual like like the regular appointment as opposed to the sample sale so for the regular appointment, we got a seat and, you know, my mom and my friend, like my maid of honor were both with uh, with me. And so they stayed out on the floor and they have like little chairs with like a mirror and a stand set up so that, you know, your people that you bring with you can sit there and then your stylist takes you into the dressing room. And pretty much what Kleinfeld does, which um, I think like you guys may have seen a video where I'm talking a little bit more about this experience, like for the regular one, but pretty much they call you in advance and then like ask you about what you're looking for so that they can have some dresses already pulled for you, which I think is just so great. And it's like such a good idea. So that way for the regular one, you get there, your people are waiting out and they bring you right to the dressing room. So for the sample sale, it was definitely different. The whole floor of like where the seating and stuff usually is, and they do have like dresses out in there. So like you can see it, but you're just not allowed to touch them. At least with COVID you weren't um, during like the regular appointment. This time they have the whole floor set up with all dresses. So pretty much they had them all set up with like sizes and pricing so or I'm sorry not sizing and pricing um silhouette and pricing and so like you look for what you're looking for and then you go and they have like have it all there for you so they had I believe like dresses they started at $2.99, so that was like the cheapest that you could get dresses. I think their accessories started the cheapest at $99, which like honestly is crazy for like 
what their prices normally are. And so you can like start there and then they have it, you know, broken down in like fit and flare, mermaid, ball gown, A-line, all that great stuff. So in case you can't tell, I do wear a bigger dress size. And so I had to go to the plus sized dresses. And so I saw this like little corner of plus size dresses <laughs> compared to the whole floor that had like regular sizes out. And on the email, like the confirmation email about making the appointment, it pretty much said that they have sizes from like zero to like 20, or 28 or something like that I'm almost positive that that was part of the email um, so I like knew that there was gonna be dress sizes that I could have but you know when I got there it was a little bit disheartening to see like the very few options that I did have to try on and my appointment was at 11 15 so like my appointment was very early in the day so and today was the first day of the sample sale like there's two days I believe it's today and tomorrow um, but today was the first day so it's not like a ton of other plus sized girls like got first you know grabs at all of the dresses there was just like not a lot of options so I was looking around and you know I found some that I really liked um, I actually really fell in love with two of them that I saw on the rack and then I realized that they were smaller sizes that someone accidentally put on the plus sized rack so that was really disappointing <laughs> but yeah I mean that was just kind of like annoying because it was just a little bit frustrating to like not even have them organized in a way where it was something that I like couldn't even try on but yeah so I did find some I ended up trying on four different dresses and they were all absolutely beautiful dresses as I'm sure you will be able to see in like the vlog portion of this video all of the dresses that I did try on were like so so gorgeous and they were all different pricings the two that I really liked which uh, you guys will like see in, again in the vlog portion of the video um, was like that one really big ball gown that was $1,100 originally I think $3,100 and then the other one that had like the kind of opening here and like the um, detachable spaghetti straps that one was $500 and I believe it was originally like $1,600 or something like that so like oh my gosh for wedding dresses that is some really great pricing but they just again I didn't need a dress and second of all it just like they weren't something that I loved so much that I felt like I had to get it so I ended up not doing that um, again another thing that differed about the sample sale was that my mom we were only allowed to bring one guest as opposed to two um, which was like the regular appointment and my mom actually came into the room with me as opposed to like sitting out because you don't actually like get brought out onto the floor to show your guests like what you're trying on you just stay in the room the whole time and so my mom was just in the room with me and she got to like see everything there which was nice because it, like it was a different perspective from how the other appointment was like my mom actually got to see like my, my initial thoughts because you know when you first put the dress on no one else is in the room with you besides your your consultant so you know no one else besides that person gets to see like your first initial thoughts in the dress so like it was nice to have her there to see like what I first thought of the dress but yeah it just like obviously is a totally different experience but that is like to be expected you know you're not going there for like the Kleinfeld experience you're going for Kleinfeld dresses at a super discounted price so like I said the dresses that they had were like really beautiful and the prices were just amazing however for the options that they had for plus size I honestly frankly was a little bit disappointed there really wasn't that many dresses for me to choose from which was just unfortunate because I was really just like I said I didn't need a dress but I was just there to like try stuff on and have fun and just like see what is available um and I just it was just unfortunate that there like wasn't a lot of options for me it was just it was just a little mm, it was a little discouraging but anyway so you know of course like I said it was a quicker experience you don't get as much like of the Kleinfeld experience because again that's not what you're there for also it is a sample sale so these are ones that are going to be well loved they're going to be ones that other people have tried on you're not like picking your dress and then getting it ordered like whatever you find that day is what you're walking home with if you end up choosing that dress so there may be a makeup stain on it there may be a pull or a tear in the fabric there may be sequins missing there may be like a rip somewhere like you don't know what the quality is going to be like because at the end of the day like you are buying these dresses that are just sample dresses like they're dresses that people have tried on and that other people have been wearing that's also something to keep in mind yes you're getting these dresses at like super budget friendly but like also 
they're not brand new dresses they're going to be dresses that other people have worn and tried on and that just may be something that you're not completely comfortable with for your wedding day but like again totally to each their own so overall the experience was a lot of fun and i am honestly super happy that i ended up going and like actually making the appointment and going because it really was fun and i did enjoy myself and i did have a good time like i said i was just a bit disappointed with the lack of plus sized options it was just like really it was just it was just unfortunate that they didn't have that many, but I did still have a good time and I am very happy that I made the appointment because I know that if I didn't, looking back on it, I would have regretted not actually just going and seeing what they had because when you see what some of these dresses cost as opposed to what they're being sold for now during the sample sale, it just blows your mind. So, you know, I'm happy that I did go. I'm happy that I had the opportunity to try stuff on and to get an idea of like different dresses and look around and see what they had. And I'm just happy that I had the experience of attending a Kleinfeld sample sale. By next year, if they do it at the same time as this year, if they have another sample sale, I will already be married. So there will be absolutely no reason for me to go to a sample sale again. However, I think that it was a lot of fun and I'm super happy that I had the experience to go this time, even though some parts of the day were a little bit disappointing I still think that it was worth the experience and I did still have a lot of fun. So that is it guys. That is my whole thoughts and opinions on the Kleinfeld sample sale and my experience going and shopping there as a plus sized bride. Again, I did not walk away with any dresses. So take that as you will. However, like I said, I really didn't need a dress anyway. I already said yes to the dress at Kleinfeld, but I did go for the experience and I'm happy I did. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If anyone has any other questions regarding the Kleinfeld sample sale, please feel free to reach out and ask me. I would be more than happy to answer any questions that someone may have. And honestly, I don't know how the sample sales will be going forward just because it may be a little bit different going forward simply because, you know, I don't know if this is different because of COVID, but I hope that I answered some of your questions. I hope that I clarified a little bit more about what the Kleinfeld sample sale experience was like for me. And I thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful and blessed day, everyone. Bye.